far? Uh, Lois, uh, <laughs> wow, um, well, um, now why are you covering up? Hmm, okay, well, Lois, this is, um, rather sudden, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Um, what exactly are you doing in my apartment, Lois? Well, we just have something to do, now didn't we? We were going to work on a report a news report that is platonic and entirely platonic. Uh, platonic. <clears throat> Not like Perry's gonna care now, is he? He's got better things to report on. <coughs> I swear I hear something. I'm here to talk to you about the Justice League. <sighs> oh. Why? You got the worst timing in the world, man. Hey guys, so once again, this is my fiance, Sam, and we're gonna talk about Man of Steel a little bit, but I just wanna make sure if you didn't read the title all the way, this is a spoiler, spoiler. review. 100% spoilers yep. everywhere, so stay away if you haven't seen the movie yet. I have a spoiler-free review up already that you can go check out. Check that one out first before you watch this one. So as we promised at the end of our Iron Man 3 spoiler review, we were gonna come back and do our spoiler thoughts on Man of Steel, and we went to the drive-in last night and checked it out. I saw it for the second time, she saw it for the first time. They know how I feel about it, so what are your overall thoughts on the, on the film? Well, it was okay. It wasn't spectacular, but it was an okay film. I didn't mind it but it's not something I'm gonna go actively try to pursue to watch again, like I did with Iron Man. The first time I saw it, I was I was a little let down because I wanted it to be like the perfect film that, that the trailers made it look like it was going to be. Mm -hmm. And that was a little stupid of me to go in expecting like perfection because, you know, I mean, I, I need to learn to not hype myself because that's, that's gonna make experiences not as fun for me. Nevertheless, I did enjoy the film. I thought it was a well-made film. And if you followed the Superman films from 1978 all the way to Superman Returns, I really do think, yes, yeah, she, 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 you've seen Superman Returns? Yeah, okay. See, I really do think that that this Superman was good for, for what Superman needed. This film didn't have any Emotional meat. depth? It was just all bones of action. <laughs> there was quite a bit of action in the movie, and it's funny. All action. I think it was half the movie was explosions on the yeah. screen. That was pretty much all the epic scenes. It went high peak, high peak, high peak. One little low peak where it showed his past, a little blurb with his parent, father thing. And it was pretty much no actual time to digest those action scenes you saw or have any like emotional attachment to the mm -hmm. characters. It's just like, I feel like I don't even know Lois Lane. I don't know Clark Kent. I don't know Perry White. I don't know any of the characters that they just presented to me. My two biggest problems with the movie were the structural integrity of the movie. It felt so huge and big without enough downtime to really digest and to, you know, feel like you had some emotional depth in there. And my other problem was you didn't really feel that close to Superman as a person. I thought his youth was really well told yeah. like with kevin costner as jonathan kent i thought he did such a good job yeah, i mean and those russell crowe those scenes were very actually well done and very well executed with a lot of thought and detail put into their back history in those very very brief short blurbs that they put in one problem i also had that i know that you agreed with was i felt that the romance between Lois Lane and, and Superman was like instantaneous and barely developed at all. I get that when he saved her in the ice sculpture and then cauterized her wound that obviously she would be intrigued by that. Like anyone would be like, I must find out who this is. Yeah. Superman Returns didn't have enough action and it had a lot of drama and emotion in there. But Man of Steel had a ton of action, which Superman needed, but it didn't have really that pull that you wanted from like, you mm -hmm. thought we were maybe gonna get with Superman. So mm -hmm. I feel like maybe if they combined the best and worst aspects of both of those movies, they would have been like a perfect Superman movie. Maybe. I still really enjoyed it though. Like I don't want you guys to- get bad. No, 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 no. I don't want you guys to get us wrong. Like we don't hate the movie. We don't even dislike the movie. It just could have been better. Definitely, definitely not. Like I hate, I'm going, I hate the director of this. Like I want to go with you with, the movie that should not be mentioned ever in existence. What, Dragon Ball Evolution? Yes. Okay, yeah, see, Dragon Ball Evolution is a curse word <laughs> in my household, so let's not say that again. Exactly. <laughs> I did like how they strayed away from the whole 
let's make Lois Lane not know who Clark is as soon as he puts on a pair of glasses and puts a twirl in his hair. I mean, yeah. it, I love the way it opened of Russell Crowe on Krypton. I thought that was a really great, the whole, that was, that the was whole actually opening good. was really I, I cool. I do like it. I, it gave me high hopes for the rest of the film. The first opening sequence, would probably I'm going to go with an A plus for that Krypton thing. That mm. was an A plus film. And then from there, it kind of just went down letter grades throughout <laughs> the thing. And then it hit back up kind of at the end mm. when they left it off a pretty good spot. Yeah. See, I, I went back and I watched uh, The Dark Knight last night just for fun and I was like, oh, this is just such a good, good movie. Oh my God, that is such a good movie. And I'm not comparing it. I know Nolan was involved on the story aspect of Man of Steel and I think that the story that he provided and helped shape for this Superman tale yeah. was about as realistic of a story as you can portray yeah, with this guy very, and have it be realistic. have it be like taken seriously. Obviously like after coming off of something like Batman you're gonna have to turn a mm -hmm. more human adaptation to it. There's like that one great monologue at the end where he's like where before they start fighting he's like you I have no people I have nothing and then he's like and now I'm going to kill you ah Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. <laughs> Henry Cavill yeah. did a pretty good job in the movie. I'm not saying he wasn't a bad Superman no, in the at least all. but I'm thinking with the story that they gave him and the script that they gave him that he did what he could with it, mm -hmm. and the adapt his adaptation was very good yeah. for Superman, more a little more grunged up like they did with The Dark Knight. One of the things that I was sort of looking forward to in this movie but wasn't sure if they were going to do was any hints at all to the Justice League. And the only thing that I could they find, did. they had one little tiny little thing that has nothing to really do with the Justice League. Actually, my buddy John Flickinger told this to me on the phone. I was like, oh, I better look for that the second time. And I was looking for it actually right. through the whole thing. On a satellite, you can see an upside down logo for Wayne Enterprises in space. And I was like, oh, well, that's really it. We don't get an after credit scene. We don't get a, a, a Justice League reference. A friend of mine uh, named Craig, he runs a website called Fat Movie Guy. He, uh, that's a pretty funny title. <laughs> After the movie, he was like, uh, they can't tease something that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. There's no official Justice League movie in the, it's officially in the works, but every script keeps getting, like, turned wow. down. So they can't really tease something that doesn't exist. The most epic thing that could have ever happened that would literally make me faint in the theater is if Christian Bale, dressed as Batman, just came in and was like, hello, we're going to talk about the Justice League. But Christian Bale's done, and the Nolan films don't connect to these. My thoughts on like the end fight, I thought the end fight was really awesome. Because look, I'm a fanboy nerd for comics, as you are too, except you're a girl. Um, I mean, look behind me. I got all this Superman stuff. I wanted to see Superman kick ass because we haven't seen that since Superman 4 The Quest for Peace, which is a horrible movie, and the fight scene is... It's not even a fight scene. They just kind of slow dance around in slow motion for a while. So I wanted to see a kick-ass Superman, and I got that. It was the Superman movie that I think the public needed to see mm -hmm. because Superman Returns was a very dull movie, and we needed a movie that could show that Superman has a villain besides Lex Luthor, that mm -hmm. there are other people that he can actually engage in battle with, and I really like that part of the movie. Like when they threatened Diane Lane, his mother, and then he just like, boom, just run, rushes in there, grabs mm -hmm. Zod, and he's like, you can't threaten my mother! I was like, that's probably the, the best son you could possibly have. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't you mind know. if you had. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Can you finish my sentence? You knew what I was talking about. I know, I, I know you. <laughs> One of my favorite scenes is probably when they're in the Kryptonian ship and mm -hmm. Lois is trying to figure out how to get out of there and Jarrell shows up and he's explaining to her how to get out of there. Yeah. That was awesome. I'm like, they actually like made Lois kind of a little bit more involved yeah. versus her being just the damsel in distress that Superman's got to rescue. Right. I mean, it had the cliche to her falling from great height and Superman having to catch her, right. which you got to have. It's, it's Superman, Superman catches people. Yeah. Superman catches people. One of the things that I, I did like about that also, I love Russell Crowe just in the background going and like opening and closing the doors and don't come in there. Oh, there's a guy right there. There's a guy right there. And then like every room, he, every room she walked in, he would just be like going like this to go that way. He was like the okay. best directions you could possibly have. Can you imagine having a Russell Crowe GPS that just would in be your car? Wonderful. You, you just get in your car and he's like, drive to Arby's this way. And, and then he's like, by the way, Arby's is bad for you. You shouldn't eat Arby's. Hit Chipotle instead. Hit <laughs> Chipotle. Yeah. I thought the two father figures of Clark was actually were actually my favorite balancing. performances in the movie, actually. Uh, Kevin Costner and Russell Crowe. They were very balancing of how he is. You can also see that he definitely had a lot of influences from his mother being more in his life yeah. than things. Oh, he's a mama's boy. He can tell he's yeah. a mama's boy. And th that's like... He comes in and hugs her, yeah, and she's like, nice suit, son. <laughs> the impenetrable never will rip suit. Right. So you never have to see a naked Superman, which would be unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. 
He knows me too well. Thank goodness I don't have to see that though. Can you imagine that rated R Superman <laughs> running around with this giant super dick? Okay. Um, <laughs> I really liked how Terrible Superman movie. had to go to the one that was in like around the Indian Ocean mm -hmm. and like fly up through it. That was a really epic scene I thought. How he had to like fight the gravity. That was pretty cool. I yeah. liked that a lot. The sound though, that drove me insane. Like I Pretty was, loud like, for you. She has a little bit of an ear issue yeah. yeah overall i think we both agree that it was an entertaining summer popcorn film it was a good superman movie but that it just didn't have the emotional core we were hoping no. for and we both kind of felt that the central romance wasn't really explored enough at all like even it just kind of happened so fast mm -hmm. and action good emotion could have been better. Mm, yeah. Overall, I, I will stick by my B plus Man of Steel grade. I could see someone giving it a B. I'm gonna give it a low B. Okay. See, that's fair to me. I'm excited to see two. Me too. To see what they do with it. To see if they can maybe connect the two films into having to need the one to make two more right. understandable. Maybe they're gonna play that card. Right. That he needs the balancing act to game there. Right. So the next big comic book film is uh, Wolverine. I guess. Do you want to see that with me? We can do a spoiler video of that too. Cool. <laughs> I'm excited to see Wolverine. Yeah, He's we'll, jealous. We'll go see Wolverine. No, I, I love Hugh Jackman. He's awesome. You can look at him. I don't care. I look at him too. <laughs> <laughs> at least you admit it. At no. least he admits that. He's a good looking guy. He we'll, is a good looking guy. So we'll come back and do a Wolverine spoiler review. Yeah, we will. When you get a geeky girlfriend slash fiance, you're going to end up... It's a plus. It's a, an incorporation of mm -hmm. lifestyle into work. Yeah. It's more enjoyable. That's true. For all parties involved. That's true. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We appreciate it, and I will see you very soon. And, uh, do you want to say it? Do I have to say it? It's just funny when you say it. But, 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 oh. Alright, guys. Hopefully you get back to his channel, and hopefully you get stuckmanized off this. <laughs> you made it seem like it was a drug. Oh, I got stuckmanized off that. <laughs> I got the high off that. Believe me, guys, this is a drug that oh. you might get addicted to. Oh. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. Well, if thank you don't you. get sick off at first. Thank you very much. I appreciate <laughs> that. Well, now that Batman's gone, what would you like to do, Mr. Kent? Let's go work on that report. You guys know I'm still here, right?